go, boy. Sorry, I haven't. I'm sure he'll turn up, though. He's a wanderer. I'm really worried. Oh, look who it is. Hello, Karen. <sighs> look Hi, who it is. Oh, Arthur. Big, tough Arthur. <laughs> you want to know something, Arthur? What? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I had something to say. I did. Take it easy, Karen. On the hooch. Why? Because a good sober life will bring me peace and contentment? What a crock of shit this world is. Come have a seat, Morgan. Discussing ladies bloomers. <laughs> what the hell is going on around here? Dutch is crazy as a cat herder. Mike and Bill are turning all kinds of screws on me. This the stew is decidedly is lacking on decent meat, Mr. Morgan. Morgan. <laughs> Don't worry. Thank you, Arthur. <laughs> Greetings. Reverend? Hi. How are you holding up? I feel I should be asking you that. You might want to start thinking about where you'll go next. No, no. I ain't about to give up on this. All right. All I said was start thinking. Well, try to keep your head straight. Uh-huh. Hey, Mary Beth. Oh, Arthur. How are you doing? This place, it's horrible. Have you seen inside that cave? I know. It's only for now. Hang in there. All right, then. <laughs> yes, Arthur. Abigail. I don't like this, Arthur. How you doing? Confused? Worried? What's happened to all you boys? Just keep your head down for now. I guess. Yep.
Ayúdeme. Me duele. Me desangró. Um, I got some uh, medicine. Medicina. Ya para qué? No puedo. Put what happened behind us, but don't you Hello. dare try to attack someone in here again! Ah, you have kept that perfectly maintained. I love to see that. You've kept that weapon looking as nice as the day you bought it. Well done. Ah, you have kept that perfectly maintained. I love to see that. Take care, man. I lost my hat to that gust. Hello, Hello mister. Hello, sir. Gracious! Oh, do you have the time there? I don't know. Uh, hey there, partner. Howdy! Hey, you know trespassing allowed. Okay, okay, keep your hair on. This what you, you want? Need to move along. Sorry. No, I'll stop it now.
Read all about it in the Gazette. You stupid or you're lucky I'm in a read. This is your last chance. Get out of here, or there'll be hell to pay. Sorry, I, I don't know why I find this so entertaining. You got lucky this time, friend. Next time might not pound out for you. All right, then. Just telling my friend here about how I nearly died out there one night. Ooh, sounds like quite a tale. Here's an idea. Gunsmith's a friend. Pick out what you want and I'll pick up the tab. Hmm? It's Jenkins. Ooh, yes indeed. Anything for you, buddy. Anything. You are nothing if not generous. That's kind of you. Thanks. What do you need? Man in town named Jenkins owes me. Said I could put something on his tab. Jenkins, huh? All right, take a look around. So noted. You have a good day now.
pick something up. Thanks. You're very welcome, sir. All the best. No good place, get some food. I, yeah, I can't say, I'm afraid. Out any further. Nobody needs to die here. Okay. You've been standing around like.
on your oh, head, Come on, Real let's worry. just talk this through. Raise your hands. You didn't get me. Hey, mister. Hello. That's a strong-looking horse. Thank you. Okay, Oh, then, hell, Hunter. ain't no need for that. Ah, you ain't worth it. You some kind of joker, huh? Whew. Too close for me. You clear out of here, please? Listen, I'll have to ask you to be more civil in here. Will you clear oh my out of here, please? You ain't back to trouble us more, is you? Hey there. You lunk-headed fool. Calm down. <laughs> what is your problem? What is your problem, partner? You don't, uh, you don't look so good. What is wrong with you? Nothing wrong with me. I'm fit as a fiddle. And I inside you ain't. I'm just a realist, friend. Micah reckons there's a rat. Oh, does he? 
On what evidence? He's only back a minute. Pinkerton show up. <laughs> We've been on the run since you two fools went crazy in Blackwater. We barely escaped with our lives in Saint Denis. Now we got a rat. Well, Molly clearly talked, but who else? Maybe we pushed things too hard. Whoa. Maybe time for folks like us is past. We don't need a rat. We got sloppier than the town drunk, and they know who we are, and where we are, and what we're doing. The way I see it, best thing we can do is let the week go. Move on, get our money, and start over. That ain't happening. Well, something's gotta happen, and fast. Otherwise, Cornwall, them Pinkertons, they've got us panned in here, and ain't none of them stopping. Well, Cornwall's why we're here. Shall we, Dutch? Yeah, it's time to go. Let's head to the river. Oh, leave Cornwall alone. He ain't. <laughs> we need money. But revenge? Now? Of course it's for money. Come on, Arthur. This better not be no stupid revenge mission, Dutch. It ain't worth it. Don't be ridiculous. Oh, Arthur, it's just a simple social call. <laughs> <laughs> So, what are we gonna say to him that needs to be said? He has been hunting us since Valentine. He is the reason that Hosea got killed. His sugar business is destroying the people of Guarma. This town, Arthur, is his town. He bought it just to destroy these folks. His sugar, his oil, his law. These are wrongs that you can't write, Dutch. We're wanted men. Hmm. So why did you go for John against my wishes? I didn't want him hanged. Neither did I. We're gonna cut a deal, Arthur. What are you talking about? We want out, and Cornwall wants us to stop robbing him, and we all know his money is what's keeping the Pinkertons on our tail. He's America, Arthur. And I want out. And he... He won't let us go. This ain't making a lot of sense, Dutch. It will, son. It will. A deal, some noise, and then we're gone. down behind these crates so no one sees us. Thank you for your hospitality, Mr. Cornwall. This was a business meeting, Mr. Milton. We are not friends. I have spent a considerable fortune with your agency, and still nothing. This Vanderlyn robs me and laughs at me. I asked for the best. I paid for the best. We are very close, Mr. Cornwall. I know you've heard this before. Can't, sir. Send a telegram to Goldberg in New York. Tell him I won't borrow it more than 3.2%. Sorry, no, I have heard it before. And get that army man to pay his portage charge. Yes, sir. We are doing all we can within the confines of the law. The law? I think we both know what you can do with your law. Find me Dutch Vanderlyn. Bring him here and leave the laws to them as need them. Good day, sir. Come along, Mr. Ross. We have work to do. Mr. Dinsbury. Mr. Cornwall. Now listen up, Dinsbury. What's all this about strikes? I bought into this mine because of mismanagement. And I intend to make it a success no matter what the cost. It's the wages. Folk feel Folk that you... Folk feel? Business doesn't give two figs about feelings, sir. Not two figs. It's a nonsense that will bring a plague on both our houses, sir. Perhaps there is a plague on your house already, Mr. Cornwall. What do you want, sir? I'm not... 
quite sure just yet. Your impudence will be your undoing, sir. I'm undone already. Even my best friend here, he thinks I'm crazy. And like this poor fellow you are talking to, my feelings are hurt. You robbed me, sir. And you robbed him. Funny world. You show a criminal's grasp of sophistry, sir. I did no such thing. You kill. I kill. You rob. I rob. Only difference I can see is I choose whom I kill and rob, and you destroy everything in your path. I've heard just about enough. I'll tell you what. You give me this ship, $10,000, and safe passage out of here, I'll let you live. <laughs> I'll do no such thing! <laughs> you sure? Good. I prefer it this way. You lost your land! Noise, Arthur! No boys! Let's go! 
Well, at least we tried talking it out. You boys have lost your minds. Oh, I felt a lot of guilt in this life, Arthur. I've killed too often and poorly, but not this time, son. Come on! <laughs> All right, let's head for the hills, boys. They're trying to block us off. Go right! Interesting social call. Oh, don't play dumb and superior at the same time, Morgan. We all knew sooner or later Cornwall had to go. Let me see them papers. It's more attention we don't need. Feels like the whole world's closing in on us. Dutch, it won't be long before they find where we're hiding out now. Especially as we ain't exactly hiding now. We just need a distraction. Buy us some time. It looks like Mr. Cornwall's company has signed a railroad contract with the Army. And they're also moving dynamite down from, well, the Annisburg mines to San Denis to resell. And there's bonds at his oil factory. Maybe there's a way to get them off our back and get the money that we need. Micah! You look into this dynamite. Take Bill, I guess, Arthur. You go, too. We are gonna need a lot of it. And, Mike, we need to talk. Figure out some things. Of course, boss. Figure out what? The plan. Getting out of here. Nothing's changed. It hasn't, huh? There's an old house west of Van Horn. Meet me there when you can, Black Lung. Let's split up. We'll meet up back at camp. Yeah.
Okay, fella. Yep. It's okay, ma'am. I don't mean you no harm. <laughs> well, it makes no difference now. If, if an outlaw or a wild animal doesn't get me starvation, well... <laughs> we came out here from the city in search of a different life. Something true, something real. All this squandering and indulgence, we wanted to strip it away, to find something authentic. 
What a pair of fools. Is there a train station or a town I can take you to? No, I can't give up now. He wouldn't want that. I, I can't have it. I'm going to do this for you, Cal. Well, I'll, um, I'll leave you to it. <laughs> Is there anything left for you to eat? Nothing. No, we didn't know the first thing about hunting. Couldn't even catch a darn mouse. If you need any poisonous berries, though, I'm a natural at finding those. Well, you ain't gonna last much longer out here if you don't know how to hunt. Come on. I'll show you. All right. But you better not try any funny business. You know, I may be weak, but I still know how to stand up for myself. Oh, I don't doubt it. Come on. Tell me, you ever skin an animal before? No, but then again, I haven't caught much of anything either. Well, you'll need to know how to do both if you're gonna survive out here. I am all too aware. So where should we head for? Uh... Let's try in the trees down there, near the river. What happened to your husband, if you don't mind me asking? A bear got him. It was horrifying. He survived, but only for a couple of days. I, I buried him a week ago. Uh, I'm sorry. This was really his dream more than mine. I'd have hopped the next train back to Chicago if he'd said the word. But now, I, I don't know, it's hard to explain. I have to do this. Look, a rabbit! Right there. Shh, yes, good eye. Okay, stay quiet and still. Watch me. Oh no, it's hopping away. Shot. Okay then, go on. Time to get your hands dirty. How do I... I mean... What do I do? Just hold the legs tight and pull the skin away quickly. Should come right off. Do it. You did good. I think I've seen enough blood for one day. <laughs> Do you mind if we head back now? Sure. I'll walk you back. You did good. That should keep you fed for a few days. Oh, yes. At least. Thank you so much. I mean, this really ain't such a bad spot. You got a good water source. It's remote, but you can survive here all right. I have no doubt that one can survive here. Whether Charlotte Balfour can is a different matter entirely. You've probably lived your whole life in the outdoors. Oh, a lot of it, that's for sure. I barely left the city before coming here. Cal spent his summers growing up at his grandparents' lodge in Maine, but I get the impression they did more punting than hunting. Right. Oh, Lord. No, we're done for now. Wolves, stay back. Must have smelled the dead rabbit. You see, if, 
If you hadn't been here, I I'd be dead now. You got a rifle? Yes. Well, my, my husband's. I suggest you learn how to use it. Now, come on, let's get you home. Since we got here, it feels like every step forward has come with a hundred steps back. People always talk about the simplicity of country life, but there is nothing simple about any of this. Well, I guess we only know what we know. Oh, please. I'm sure it wouldn't take you too long to adjust to a life of privilege and indolence in the big city. I don't know about that. It sounds awful. Oh, it is. A truly empty and boring existence. But an undeniably easy one. I still can't believe he's gone. So, it's Chicago you came from? That's right. Have you been? Yeah, I've passed through a couple times. Business or pleasure? Business, you could say. Banking, mostly. Oh, really? Cal was in banking, too. Uh, I doubt we crossed paths. I was more on the withdrawal side. Oh, right. <laughs> You're teasing me. Yeah, something like that. Thank you. That was the first time anyone's done anything nice for us. For me, since we got here. Well, nature provides, but she sure don't always make it easy. That she doesn't. I'd invite you in, but I'm dead on my feet, if you'll forgive the pun. <laughs> Please do call again sometime, though. A good rest, and hopefully I'll be a new woman. You take care, ma'am.
that could liquefy each of your internal organs in turn and leave you just a puddle on the floor. Professor, I ain't here to rob you. It's me. I, um... I helped you at the pond. You did? Oh, you did. <laughs> in the buffoon. <laughs> Hello. Hello. I hope I'm not disturbing you. Of course you are disturbing me, buddy. I almost solved biggest problem and you mess it up! Did? No, but I did. I can't get the bloody conductor straight. Uh, what? Well, it, it is uh, the geometry of life. The grand theory of uh, power. It's the grand theory of theories. <laughs> There is just one more big problem, 
Maybe I solved it, but I can't get it right. I don't understand. Of course you don't. Help me adjust these things and I will show you what I mean. Here, take these. Oh, well, uh, I'm not much of a scientist. Yeah, well, you are an American. <laughs> Science is far beyond you, but you make a, a fine buffoon. Go. You have the detector in your hand. The filament flashes when it points at the location for conductors. Follow flashes up in hills and plant conductor rods where filament glows solid. When all three conductors in place, lightning strikes the rod.
I wish I ever went to school so I had a clue what was going on. <laughs> well, now? Well, now, I become the second creature after God himself to bring life to this earth. Like this. Missing something. Ah, oh, uh, the switches, the bloody switches. Okay, uh, climb up there and adjust them for me. Go quick, please. This is my life's work. It is incredible. 
What? I am so <laughs> oh, You just saw creation's second birth. <laughs> I just saw a machine waddle a few steps. I have a son. I am the luckiest man alive. I, those morons, they doubted me. I'll see you later. Yes, yes. Goodbye. <laughs>
any road to spare. Great.
That's it! Mr. Morgan? Whoa Did there. you put Dutch up to that in Annisburg? Killing Cornwall?
Come on, don't have to.
Yep. There we go.
Old Black Lung Morgan. Shut up. Was you followed? Excuse me? Was you followed? Do you know who you're talking I to? I ain't sure. I ain't sure about much no more. All I know is there's law whenever you're around. Is that so? Mm. Because it seems to me that since you've been riding with us, there ain't been nothing but trouble. Stirring things up all the time, getting in Dutch's ear. Seems wherever you is, there's Pinkertons and vice versa. So you better watch your goddamn mouth, boy! <laughs> or... <laughs> <laughs> Take it easy, cowboy. You're gonna do yourself a mischief, way your head. Micah, shut it! He started it! <sighs> Dutch says we is to go on with plans to create a diversion. We gotta get some explosives to blow up the bridge. Keep the army out of here a few days. I think it's a real bad idea. I don't think Dutch cares too much what you think. That's clear. We gotta confuse him one last time. Then he and I will head to Blackwater, collect the money, and help everyone leave. He's got a boat lined up. Blackwater's a fool's errand. Everyone knows it. Even a greedy moron like you. It's Dutch's choice, Arthur. You're just a senior gun, same as the rest of us. Only you ain't well. I'm fine! Then you'll do Dutch's bidding. Which is robbing a stage that's coming from Annisburg full of explosives. Rob a stage. All we seem to ever do is rob a stage, you and me. Not me. You two. I got my own planning to do. You boys got this. Shit. Guess we have. Come on, Arthur. And Cowpoke, take it easy. You could do with a vacation, hmm? <coughs> <laughs> So you're taking orders from him now? I'm taking orders from Dutch, same as always. <sighs> the pair of them are becoming unhinged. You hear about Dutch killing Cornwall? Hey, hold up a second. Pinkerton patrol, over there! Okay, I think we're clear. Let's head off. So you was just talking about something? Well, that needed to be done. Right now? With the Pinkertons breathing down our necks? See, I'm starting to think that you've gone soft, Morgan. Hold! Okay. Let's hold up here. So, the wagon will be coming from that way. Down from Annisburg. It'll take the two of us to stop it completely, or it'll never get done. So, I was thinking, you go play dead, and I'll take care of him. <laughs> no, I'm the better shot, and you, you're the better actor. No, you play dead, and I'll cover you. I got that. <coughs> I got that. Oh, that's them coming now, I think. It'll be quite the show. <laughs> Let's get the explosive! 
Alright, let's see if we can get this back to camp without blowing ourselves up. Nice shooting back there. Nice trunk plane. Comes naturally. Woo. I could use a drink after that. Ah, no. Just never goes easy no more, does it? Go drive this over to Bacchus Bridge, get a hidden near there. He really does think Bill, he's in charge. You go on ahead. I need to speak with Arthur. Good work, son. What's going on? Listen, I know we ain't always seen eye to eye, and uh, you find me irritating and a threat, and I like to annoy you. But right now, I need better from you, Arthur. Okay, Micah. Whatever you say. I ain't the bad guy you think I am, Arthur. But I am a survivor. Stick with me and you'll live. Oh, the bridge is probably a two-man job. You should probably go help Marston. Why don't you? Like I said, Dutch and I got planning to do for the train. There's a big picture here, Arthur. Trust me. 